What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today, Apple released iOS 10 Beta 5 to developers. So in this video, I'm gonna run through all the new features and talk about the final release of iOS 10 along with the iPhone 7. So I do have iOS 10 Beta 5 installed here on my iPhone 6 and there are not many major features to talk about, but I will be touching on the items that are new from the previous beta of Beta 4. First off in iOS 10 Beta 5, they have added a new lock sound. When you go ahead and lock your device with the lock button, you should hear that new sound. A lot of people have been saying it sounds like a locked door. I'll go ahead and get closer to the mic here for you guys to hear it. So it's a little bit different than it is now in iOS 9. That's just a small little new update in iOS 10 beta 5. Also, they've updated iTunes and the App Store a little bit. When you reboot your device, you will be able to download apps using Touch ID without a passcode, something that was required in iOS 9. You will be able to use Touch ID for that now exclusively. Pretty nice feature. It makes it a little bit quicker to download apps after rebooting. Some users have been reporting that when you go into the Messages app and you go ahead and type a message and go to Digital Touch, if you make it full screen, you will get a splash screen telling you exactly what gestures you can use. I didn't get that in iOS 10 beta 5, but it probably will be included in iOS 10 final version. Next up, if you go into the control center and scroll to the AirPlay icons at the bottom of the screen, you will see that they're a little bit cleaner and they've added new icons for Apple TV and the iPhone, making it a little bit cleaner overall. In the widgets screen, if you scroll all the way to the bottom and you edit it and you add a third party application, it will actually have a different color background. These stock applications have widgets with a wider background. The third party apps will have a darker background. So that's a little nice feature to differentiate between the widgets that are downloaded apps versus stock apps. In the photos application, you will have better facial recognition. So if you take a lot of photos of the same people or with the same people, photos will do a better job of recognizing who those people are. They've also removed these settings for the home app from the settings application so if you go into the settings app you won't see any notifications or settings for the home application and they've also added a bunch of bug fixes to the operating system as well in messages the photos uh, should be zoomed in correctly the notifications and the passbook updates should come down from the top of the screen correctly they've also updated emergency calling on the iPhone and iOS 10 to make sure it works a little bit better in terms of the overall stability and fluidity of the operating system itself I've noticed it's a lot quicker and a lot less buggy. The multitasking works just like iOS 9 really, really quickly. Folders open and close very, very quickly as well. You can open and close applications midway without even waiting for them to open, which makes it seem a lot quicker in my opinion. And overall, I just haven't had as many bug crashes as I had on the previous betas while playing around with this today. So it's good to see that. The final iOS 10 beta will be available this fall, but if you want to download this version, you can go ahead and follow my guide right there in the annotation. You can also wait for the public beta to be revealed later this week. So the same method applies. You can download the public or the developer beta using my guide. And the final version should be out later in September when the iPhone 7 comes out just about a month from now, guys. So stick around for that. I will be getting the iPhone 7. I'll be doing a review on the iPhone 7 and I will be doing a full review of iOS 10 final version. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Just go ahead and click the button down there it greatly helps me out i've also got a bunch of videos for you guys to check out up here i've got a bunch of pokemon go hacks other ios 10 reviews all good stuff for you guys to check out so thanks for watching guys thanks for being awesome go ahead and follow my twitter my facebook google plus and website page down in the description and there is also links for you guys to get some paid ios and android apps 100 free down there so check those out and as always guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys next time peace